Ladies and gentlemen, it's the middle of the night. So you know what that means. It is time for more Voicing Vscape with your host, Madman, wasting my life and yours at the same time. So uh, I had a random impulse to do the Death Plateau quests. We're going to ascend the stairs from the newly implemented Burthorpe Games Room, and we're going to talk to Danzig, not affiliated with the metal band. Their song Mother is fucking... That slaps. That shit slaps, as they say. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hello, citizen. How can I help? Let's ask him what this place is, because I always wondered what these uh, people will say when you ask them that. So let's ask. What is this place, mate? You're all dressed in black. There's like a military formation going on here. Is this some sort of like extremist political meeting? If so, I got in the video here. Susan Wojak, or whatever the fuck her name is, is going to castrate me. This is the training grounds for the Imperial Guard. Not the kind from Warhammer 40k, although I wish we were that cool. Anyway, here we train our soldiers to ward off the threat of trolls from the north. You can't thanks. Oh, you can't help me. Uh, you can't help me, mate. I got serious deep existential issues, if you know what I mean. Eh, I suppose we all do in the end. Right, well, I would say you need to get some more sunlight, maybe take some vitamin D. Perhaps you have seasonal depression. Anyway, can I actually help you in any way? Eh, do you have any quests for me? Preferably short ones that give me access to killing troll generals so I can get an adamant axe, uh, adamant square, and hopefully a granite shield. Um, well, you're certainly ambitious at your combat level. Hope you don't lose the hardcore status, mate. Uh, I don't know if you can help us. Uh, I mean, really, the only thing I know is that I know nothing. But perhaps you can try. Give it the old British try. That's what we're all doing here with our steel talons. Those gentlemen are beating up bags of sand. I, I'm quite impressed with their construction since they don't appear to be breaking. Either that or our claws are extremely blunt. Anyway, the trolls to the north have taken up camp on the Death Plateau. They are using it to launch raids at night on the village. The village meaning, uh, Berthorpe. It's like that Drain or Quest dialogue. I really don't know why we just don't call it Berthorpe. It would take about uh, the same amount of character spaces as the phrase the village. Anyway, we've tried to attack the camp, but the main path is heavily guarded. Uh, perhaps there's a way I can sneak up at night. Maybe paratroop in. Ooh, that would be really cool. Uh, no, we don't have that technology, I'm afraid. If there is another way, I do not know of it. Even though if I just sent one of my men to walk up to the uh, northwest there, it would be plainly visible. But uh, we're too busy training with our claws and whatnot. Uh, do you know of such a path? Being a stranger who just showed up here out of nowhere. Uh, no, mate. I, I really don't. Do those claws have lead in them or something? Have you guys been sucking on them? Your IQ uh, levels are... Uh, you know, I'm not even going to get into it. Uh, perhaps I could try and find a route for you. Citizen, you would be well rewarded by the Emperor if you could do that. If you go up the Death Plateau, be very careful. I mean, it's called Death Plateau. Anyway, the trolls will attack you on sight, so you better have protection from range. And if you don't, God help you. Uh, I'll be careful. I'm a hardcore Iron Man. I really don't want to lose my status on some shit little quest like this. Uh, one other thing. What's that? All of our equipment is kept in the castle on the hill. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Uh, the stupid guard that was on duty last night lost the combination to the lock. Part of the quest will involve uh, finding it. I told the prince... Again, we're not really sure what prince we're talking about here. We, we really could have just named him, or we could have said the prince of blank, but again, uh, you know, Jagex writing and all. Uh, we told the prince that the Imperial Guard should have been in charge of security. Uh, no problem... What's the combination look like? The equipment room is unlocked when the stone balls, and don't make a joke about balls, are placed in the correct order on the stone mechanism outside it. Uh, the right order is written on a piece of paper the guard had. Stone balls? <laughs> like testicles? Yes, like testicles. Well, citizen, the prince is fond of testicles, and puzzles, and puzzles involving testicles. Why we couldn't just have a key is beyond me, other than that fact. I mean, 
Really, a lot of the machinations of our lives are dictated by the fetishes and strange little desires of those above us. You'd be surprised what entire wars are fought for and what millions of lives depend upon. The whims and jokes of those above us really do have a profoundly, comically significant effect on us. It's something you really shouldn't think too much about, though. It'll drive you insane. Right. I think it may have already done that to you, mate. Anyway, I'll get on this quest right away. Okay, I believe next we have to talk to the incompetent guard who should be immediately fired for losing the combination. I mean, that's what I would do if I was in charge. I would fire his ass or perhaps just push him off the top of the tower. I mean, all right, what are we doing here? We don't want to attack this guy. Can we talk to him? No, we can't. All right, I think guess we go up here. Okay, I think we talked to this guy. Yes. He looks very fancy. He must be related to the uh, mining trainer on Tutorial Island. Uh, hi. Hi, how can I help? I'm just looking around. Hmm. Hey, do you know of another way up Death Plateau? I mean, if you did, you'd think you'd have told, you know, Danzig down there. But, uh... Actually, given what you're wearing... Maybe I wouldn't have told him. No, sorry. I wouldn't want to go northeast from here. It's very rocky and barren. Ew. Okay, then. Well, I'm looking for the guard that was on duty last night. There was only one guard on last night. The others were on me. Uh, his name's Harold. The one that wasn't on me. He's a nice lad, if a little dim. Right. I'm really glad I never signed up to be a guard here. Do you know where he's staying? Harold is staying at the Toad and Chicken. Uh, thanks. You know, Toad and Chicken means something else here, if you know what I mean. Do you want to know what I mean? No, mate. I don't want to know what you mean. Not remotely. Right. Okay, so let's go to the Toad and Chicken. It's not a bad name for a bar, Toad and Chicken. There's Panda there. It's what he does in his off time. He drinks away his sorrows here. His guilt at killing other players. It gnaws at him at night. All right, let's go up these extremely large, thick, solid stone stairs. Examine this portrait here for fun. A painting of the king looking royal. Wow, I'm amazed. He looks royal. Imagine that. A king looking royal. You knock on the door. Harold, hmm. Come in. Uh, hello there, Harold. How you doing, mate? Hi. So, you're the guard that was on duty last night. The incompetent one that should be fired? Yes. Uh, Denoth said that you lost the combination to the equipment room. Is that why you're in here? Are you hiding from being punished or are you hiding from that purple guy? I mean, if he was the one punishing you, I can definitely see why you take refuge in a locked room. I don't want to talk about it. Again, I don't blame you, mate. Uh, perhaps some alcohol would uh, smooth things over between us, you know. Can I buy you a drink? Now you're talking. And I'll guard in here, please. You give Harold an Asgardian ale, which you happen to have. Harold finishes the beer quickly. <clears throat> cool. Uh, hello again. You sure down that beer fast? You want to talk to me about that purple guy? Did he touch you in a special place, mate? You can tell me. There's no one else here. I'm not going to judge. Hi again. Can I buy you another drink? Do we just have to keep buying him Asgarnian Ales? Oh no, we have to talk to Purple Guy again. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, actually, let's try asking him one more time about the... Oh, Jesus. Let's go through this dialogue again. I don't think he's going to say anything different. Dun, 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 okay. I thought he would just ask for the blurb special that we've painstakingly gotten from the gnomes and brought all the way over here the import charges for this this guy should pay me like 10k for this 
I hope when we gamble, we actually make some money. It's it's straight up just totally random if you actually make money or not. Um, you don't make much, obviously, but uh, it'd be nice to not have uh, you know insult added to the injury here. All right, let's talk to Purple Guy here. Uh, hello again. Hi, can I help? I found Harold, and I fed him a beer, but he still won't talk to me. What's his alcohol tolerance? How many more beers do I have to give this fuck? Hmm, Harold, yes. I fed him quite a bit of alcohol, and he still wouldn't perform certain acts that I wanted him to perform. He's a hopeless little man, a lost cause, I'm afraid. He's gotten in trouble a few times over his drinking and gambling. Perhaps he'd open up after a drink. But it'd have to be something stronger than a beer. Right, I'll try that. What could I do to get you to open up? Nothing, mate. Not a thing. Okay, let's talk to Harold again. I'm just going to take another Asgardian Ale since we may have to give him another one here. Okay. This is going to be the quest challenge this time is going to be not to accidentally click on one of these things and eat them and therefore have to like extend the video by eight minutes. All right. Bloody blee, bloody blue. You give Hale the second egg as Gordy Nail. He finishes the second beer quickly. Ah, that hit the spot. Hey, would you like to gamble? Hmm, good, good. I have some dice. How much do you want to wager? Hmm. I got 50 coins. Okay, I'll roll first. Don't forget that once I start my roll, you can't back out of the bet like a little weasel. If you do, you'll lose your stake. Harold rolls. Your roll. Roll dice. You lose. Snake eyes. You got a five and a one. Bad luck, prisoner. You give Harold his winnings. Okay, let's feed him the spiked drink here. Can I buy you another drink? You know, I could really go for a Blurberry Special. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? You give Harold a pre-made Blurberry Special that you, for some reason, had in your inventory. Harold guzzles down the special. Wow! Now that hit the spot. Okay, can we hit your spot? And I don't mean that sexually. Uh, hello there. Hello, matey. Would you like to gamble now that you're flagrantly intoxicated? Yes. Let's rest, please. Me? <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Let's bet 69, because it's funny. All right, here it goes. I don't know how this would make him worse at dice rolling. That's why dice is such a popular game, because you can play it if you have a room temperature IQ. You don't actually have to be sober in any way to win. It's completely by chance. So I don't know how this guy's rolls would be made worse. How the fuck did I lose? I don't know. You could use four dice. Oh, well. Hilda's stalking. Hardly see, let alone count. Cool. Uh, hello there. Hello, Messi. We gotta get him to give us an IOU, guys. I don't know how many times we gotta do this here. Let's just, uh, center a larger amount here. Here it goes. Harold rolls. You roll. You roll a seven. You walk tomorrow. Anything else? It's another dime. Okay. Hello again. I wonder how long this is gonna take. I mean, I don't, I'm not doing anything. Pretty sure my viewers aren't. All two of them. <sighs> All right, let's just try it again. Who cares? You know, we have almost no money. I just fletched for several hours and made like 20K, which I'm gonna need to blow on runes. <sighs> okay. Hilda's is still drunk, you can hardly see. Not enough money. I, I, I owe you the rest. Hild has given you an IOU scribble on some paper. Okay, let's read this. The IOU says Harold owes me money. That's generally what IOUs say. But wait a minute. The IOU is written on the back of the combination. Ha! <laughs> what a smooth brain. He had it in his back pocket all the time. 
You have found the combination. Cool. All right. Gambling is done. Twenty years hard time. How does it feel? No one knows that I'm referencing the man who would never be what they made him to be from uh, MDE. Nobody knows I'm referencing that. If you don't know, look up that sketch. It's fucking brilliant. Uh, okay. Bada bing. I owe you. Bada -da -ba. Okay, so now we got to touch some balls. Red is north of blue. Yellow is south of purple. Oh, this is going to take me 20 minutes to figure out because I'm an idiot. Uh, yellow is south of purple. Green is north of purple. Blue is west of yellow. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's juggle some balls here. See, this This is... We don't have the inventory space for this shit. Alright, so what do we have here? Red is north of blue. Blue is west of yellow. Okay, so... I guess red is up here. Blue is here. Yellow must be here. Let's see if that actually tracks here. Yellow is south of purple. Green is north of purple. Well, that makes no sense. Okay, so that means these must be at the bottom then. Is something south of blue? No, okay, so blue's got to be bottom right. Yellow's got to be here. Purple is north of yellow. Purple is east of red. Yellow is south of purple. Okay, yeah, so purple is here. Uh, red is north of blue. Is something south of blue? Am I a dumbass? Purple is east of red. Blue is west of yellow. Okay, purple is east of red. Blue is east of white of yellow. Da, da, da. Red is north of blue. God damn it, I'm an idiot. I swear to God, it's the spike proteins clogging up my neurons. Uh, yellow is south of purple. Green is north of purple. Okay, so green we know goes here. Red is north of blue. Purple is east of red. Okay, so red just needs to go down one. That's what we're missing here. Boom. Okay, did that do anything? Let's see if that's right. Red is north of blue. Yes. Yellow is south of purple. Yes. Green is north of purple. Yes. Blue is west of yellow. Yes. Purple is east of red. Okay, that should be correct. Equipment door is unlocked. Excellent. Okay. Very good. All right, let's go up here. Okay, do we have to talk to this guy? Thank goodness you opened that door. I've been trapped here since last night. Don't go in that corner. I had to take a shit. Uh, no problem. This is a bad design, mate. You couldn't get down from here at all. You couldn't climb over that wall. It's not that far of a drop. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. It stinks. Okay. So now we have to go talk to the crazy old man in the cave. And we already have a voice picked out for him. This is voicing Vscape after all. Straight up, usually I just come up with the voices on the fly, but I actually thought of a voice for this guy for a change. So we're going to go ahead and slap that on him as soon as we see him. I'll just spoil it. It's, it's a voice that Zach Hadel does all the time. It's like his old man voice which is fantastic. It's like this really raspy voice. I'm probably not going to do it justice, but I, I love that voice. I love that voice he does. He has like cleft palate superpowers, that guy. I think he, he's able to make weird voices. With me, it's just I have a really small mouth and a big fat tongue. So I think since I was a kid, I've been able to do weird voices because of that. It's, it's, it does actually depend on your phrenology a little bit, like the shape of your mouth, I think, really does determine whether or not you can do voices or not. <clears throat> Uh, hello there. You smell terrible. What? Uh, nothing. Sorry. I, I just couldn't help saying it. Look, do you know of another way up Death Plateau? 
Why would you want to go up there? I just want to be left in peace. It used to be just humans trampling past my cave and making a racket. Now there's those blasted trolls too. Not only do they stink and argue with each other loudly, but they are always fighting the humans. Wait. Are you not a human, mate? I mean, the way you smell, I wouldn't be surprised. Are you part troll? Are you like a half-breed? Is that why you have to live in a cave? Ooh, there's some deep lore we're not getting at here. I just want to be left in peace. Uh, I might be able to help you, maybe bring you some soap. How? I'm trying to help the, uh, humans, as you call them, reclaim back Death Plateau. God knows why they want it. It must be strategically valuable or something. Uh, if you help me, then, uh, at least you'd be rid of the trolls, even though they probably respawn. Anyway, you'd be rid of them temporarily, anyway. Hmm. Let me see, uh... I've only been up Death Plateau once to complain about the noise. God knows how I made it back alive. I think the trolls complained about my stench. Anyway, those pesky trolls started throwing rocks at me. Before the trolls came, there used to be a nettlesome... Uh... Nettlesome? Is that meddlesome? There's nettles that grow around him, but damn, I've never heard the word nettlesome in my life. There used to be a nettlesome Sherpa that took humans exploring or something equally stupid. We should all just stay in our caves on lockdown forever and never go outside. That's the best way to rebel against tyranny. Anyway, uh, perhaps uh, he'd know another way. Uh, where does this Sherpa live? I don't know, but it can't be far as he used to be around all the time bothering me. Uh, trying to sell me nettles. Okay. So we're left to our own devices. Trying to find the Sherpa will guide us up the mountain of our consciousness. Uh, continue northwest and go south. Okay. We gotta talk to Tenzig? Tenzing? That sounds like a Chinese province or something like, ah, the beautiful province of Tenzing. The majestic steel mills, the 5,000 cranes, the gray skies. You knock on the door. Oh man, this guy's gonna be like, uh, I don't know how the fuck to do a Tibetan accent. I have no, no idea what that would sound like. Um, hmm. No milk today, thank you. Uh, I'm not the milkman, I need your help. Oh, okay. You'd better come in then. This guy's dressed to the nines. Hello. Hello. How can I help? I'm helping the Imperial Guard. They need to find a way to sneak up Death Plateau to destroy the troll camp. Even though the trolls will probably just respawn. Or restock it with fresh trolls. Anyway, Saba, uh, the guy who stinks in the cave down there, he seemed to think you'd be able to help. Ah, uh, Saba is still alive and stinking. <laughs> yes, he seemed very unwashed. That's Saba, all right. ha, ha, ha. I do know of a secret way up to Death Plateau. The Imperial Guard will be able to use it at night and not be seen until it was too late. I'd be happy to show you if you would do something for me first. Name it. But nothing kinky, though. I'm not on the mood. Although you're a lot more appealing than the purple guy. Something about, like, outwardly advertising it, it just... It kind of ruins it, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, I know what you mean, my friend. Anyway, I don't get into town much and I'm getting low on supplies... I need ten loaves of bread and ten cooked trout. That should see me to the winter. I eat very little. Uh, anything else? I could come back later. You're a lot cleaner than uh, most other people I've seen. Well, yes. Yes, if you'd like. Anyway, my climbing boots, uh, they need to have new spikes put on. So could you take those to Dunstan in Burthorpe? He always puts my spikes on for me. Okay, I'll get those for you. Thank you, traveller. Tenzi gives you his climbing boots. Have you brought me the items I asked for? I noticed you didn't even leave my house, and you've been staring at me intently. Uh, uh, oh, no, not yet, sorry. Man, he wants you to bring him everything at once. What a fucking picky... 
Picky motherfucker. Okay, well, we can do that. We can do it however he wants us to do it. He's our barrier in the quest, so we'll do whatever it takes to get through that barrier. And that's not a euphemism. Not yet. Epic walking content. This is what everybody subscribes to see, is me walking. Wind whistling through the mountains as I walk. Well, I mean, I am running, but, you know, walking, running. What's really the difference in the end? Okay, let's curve around the bottom of the bar here. Smith is really tucked away up here. He's, like, in the far upper corner of this map. Oh, someone's left all the doors open. Fucking triggers me, man. Every time. Okay, that's Okga. He must be part Orc, too, with a name like that. All right, here he is. Looks like uh, the lead singer of Metalocalypse. Fuck, what's his name? Nathan Explosion. His guts exploded a little bit. Uh, hi. Hi, how can I help? Uh, Tenzig has asked me to bring you his climbing boots. Uh, he needs to have the spikes put on them again. He does, does he? Hmm. Well, I won't do it till he pays for the last set I made for him. This is really important. Could you just go ahead and do it? Uh, how so? Uh, well, I, I need the Sherpa to show me a secret way. And that's not a euphemism. I mean, not yet. Uh, a secret way up Death Plateau, so that the Imperial Guard can destroy the troll camp, even though they'll probably just restock it with trolls. He won't help me till I've got the spikes. He wanted the bread and fish, now he wants the spikes too. <laughs> that's, uh, that's different. I'll tell you what, I'll make them for you on one condition. <sighs> Alright, we're all at 27 minutes, mate. What's the condition? My son just turned 16, and I'd very much like him to join the Imperial Guard. He didn't want to be a metal singer like me, so I figured the Imperial Guard was the next most metal thing he could do. The Prince's Elite Forces are... Our invite? Guys, I gotta stop every time. Our invite. Fix it. If you play Vscape, complain to the devs to fix the dialogue, for the love of God. It's really fucking obvious. The Prince's allied forces are invited only, so it's very unlikely he'll get in. If you can arrange that, you'll have a deal. Oh, that won't be a problem as I'm helping out the Imperial Guard. Excellent. You'll need to bring an iron bar for the spikes. There's not enough, like, I already have one here dialogue in quests like this. You managed to get my son signed up for the... Oh, right, we gotta talk to that. Okay. Ah, can I not just give him the bar first? Do we really have to do everything in this autistic, perfect order? Of course we do. This is RuneScape. It's a game made for autistic people. Okay. Let's talk to Danzig again. I don't know why I made that joke. His name isn't even remotely similar to Danzig, but whatever. Denulf is a pain in the ass to pronounce, so fuck it. His name's Danzig. Goes with the metal theme of the quest. Uh, hello, Danzig. Hello, citizen. Have you found a way up Death Plateau yet? Uh, yes, there is another way up Death Plateau. Uh, we're saved. Uh, there's just one thing, or rather several things, but I'll, I'll try to simplify it for you. You know, the lead in the claws and all. And what is that thing, citizen? There's a Sherpa who will only show me the secret way if I first get some spikes for his climbing boots. The smith will only do this for me if you sign up his son for the Imperial Guard. Preferably a position that won't get him immediately killed. Hmm. This is very regular. Will you not do it? Well, I've heard of Dunstan's son. He's a very promising metal singer. I don't know why he wouldn't pick that as a career. For the sake of your mission, we can make an exception. Dunstan's exosier certificate. This certificate proves that we've accepted Dunstan's son for training in the Imperial Guard. Training, not uh, admission, necessarily. Uh, thank you, Danzig. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Mother! <laughs> it's a good song. Look it up. Mother by Danzig. 
it's the only Danzig song I've ever listened to, because <laughs> it's their most popular one. Mother! Okay, let's get up to the Smith's house yet again. Let's not go too far like an idiot. Uh, hello again. Have you managed to get my son signed up for the Imperial Guard? You give Dunstan the certificate. Uh, now to keep my end of the bargain. Give me the boots and an iron bar, and I'll put on the spikes. You give Dunstan an iron bar and the boots. Dunstan crafts a pair of spiked climbing boots. Uh, thank you. No problem. It's Christian Bale's Batman. <laughs> Straight up, most of the impressions of that were actually terrible, which made them more on point. Because that gravelly voice he did, it was really a thing. Like it, It's like the one aspect of the Dark Knight that didn't quite make it to like 10 out of 10. It's that comical fucking voice. I mean, it's more realistic. That whole movie is like brutally... Like, what if Batman were realistic and actually a guy trying to be a crazy masked person? And then I think in the sequels, they just, uh, or the one sequel anyway, they just went off the fucking rails. It's like, now there's an evil nuclear bomb plot with a villain that you can't understand. It's like, it just went from like fully realistic to like a fucking cartoon. Like there's a scene in that that looks like it should have been animated where Scarecrow is like, he's he's the the judge of the fake justice system that Bane has set up and and the way they've portrayed him as like the the crazed judge of this slapdash kangaroo court is they have him seated atop this comical pyramid of like boxes of like legal files like it's the dumbest most cartoonish image ever like you you couldn't just have him in a room with a bunch of goons with some people tied up in the corner like you know usual suspects or something you couldn't do that they had to go, like, full cartoon. I guess once you've done The Dark Knight, you can't really stay subdued in the sequel, or else people be like, ah, it's, it was okay, but Dark Knight was, was better. Anyway. Uh, hello. Have you built me the items I asked for? You give Tenzig the spiked boots. You give Tenzig the loaves of bread and the cooked trout that have been taking up your entire fucking inventory. Thank you very much, Traveler. Ah, oh, I'm now ready for the winter. Except I'll... Have no one here to keep me warm, of course. And before you say something about the chickens or insinuate something, no, I'm not into that. I know a lot of people are for some reason in this world, but my chickens are just chickens. I use them for eggs, nothing more. Oh, well, eh. Uh, look, here's my number. Give me a call. Uh, you said you would show me the secret way to Death Plateau? Uh, y uh, yes, yes, of course. I drew up a map in case I ever needed to use it again. Tensi gives you a map of the route. I don't think the trolls have found the secret way yet. If they had, I would have been attacked by now. Uh, okay, well, thanks. Uh, I think I'd better check the path anyway. I don't want to send the Imperial Guards to their death. You are wise. For one so... young. Get out of here. Uh, yes, yes, uh, I'll, I'll be back later. Okay, so let's hop over the stile here, past the pure undefiled chickens. It's a rarity in this world. Now, do we actually have to go up here or not? Yeah, we do, okay. Climb over the stile, bada bada bing. I think that's far enough. Okay, so we're waiting for a nice immersion breaking game message to pop up to tell us not to get instantly killed by the trolls. What does this examine text say? This beast doesn't need climbing boots. Straight up, you can look up photos of goats. Yeah, okay. You can look up photos of goats standing on, like, ridiculous um, inclines. Like, like fucking 80-degree 80, 80 inclines. Like, it's insane how, um, how well those feet can actually grip uh, on very, very small, like, crenellations and shit. Okay, do we have to actually do this? What is this? These rocks don't look good. Huh? Okay. All right, so I guess we have to go a little further. I'm really worried about the trolls, man. Getting heart palpitations again. Uh, okay, look, I think this is far enough. I can see Death Plateau, and it looks like the trolls haven't found the path. Besides, they probably couldn't walk on this. They're fucking huge. I better go and tell Danzig. Okay, perfect. 
Immersion broken. This has taken a long ass time. I thought, oh, this quest will be like 15 minutes. It'll be hard to get a video out of it. It's like fucking 40 minutes later. Don't show me this again for fuck's sake. Is that not going to work? Okay. Come on. All right. Well, uh, yeah, here we are on the mountain. Oh, boy. Fucking doing Donzig's voice. I made that shit too gravelly. I used the wrong part of my throat. So I can tell I fucked it up. I can always tell when I've done that, and it's like, ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna have a sore throat tomorrow from that. It's almost like I'm not a professional voice actor and don't quite know how to use my voice properly, even though I can do the voices. I'm probably damaging it somehow. That's something Robert Plant did from Led Zeppelin, if anybody knows the deep lore behind that band. Um, there's the whole Pact with Satan thing, and there's the fact that Jimmy Page was like a big Aleister Crowley nerd and like bought the guy's faggoty castle or whatever. But anyway, beyond that, uh, Robert Plant basically just wrecked his voice. Like when you hear him singing... The, the sound he produces is is amazing, but kind of like the whole Pact with the Devil thing, he paid for it later because his voice totally crapped out in the early 80s, and he had some kind of scuffed vocal cord surgery that was supposed to fix it, and it, like, totally didn't work, so when he sings now, he sounds like, <sighs> he sounds like the Zach Hadel old man. He sounds like Saba when he tries to sing which is why his solo stuff never really appealed to me. All I, all I hear is like, oh, I can hear the damaged vocal cords every time he sings. So anyway, stick with the, uh, the early Zeppelin stuff. It's the best anyway. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Now we just talked to Danzig, and I think we're done. Uh, hello again. Have you found the way up Death Plateau yet? Uh, yes, there is a path that runs from a Sherpa's hut, uh, a very nice Sherpa. Around the back of Death Plateau. Shout out to Masked. Um, the trolls haven't found it yet. The Sherpa made a map I can give you. You show Denruth. I mean, Danzig. The map of the secret way. Excellent. This looks perfect. They'll never see us coming. And that Sherpa, I won't see you coming, I'm guessing, because you'll be behind him. <laughs> we all know about him, by the way. The whole, I need someone to keep me warm in the winter thing. He's used that line on at least half a dozen of my men. So, you know. Be careful with that one, my friend. Uh, anyway, did you manage to open up the equipment room? Oh, that's a shame about the Sherpa. But uh, anyway, yes, the equipment room door is open, and there may or may not be a pile of human feces in the corner of the tower. It's not mine. Uh, there was a guy trapped up there, turns out, so, uh, you know, I wouldn't blame him for that. Anyway, uh, here's the combination. You should answer the combination of the equipment room. Well, uh, shame about the tower. I have to send a cleaner up there. Well done, citizen. We'll reward you by training you in attack. It'll be a trivial amount of experience with these lead blunt claws, but you know. It's better than nothing. Don't look a gift claw in the mouth. I'll also give you some steel fighting claws again. It's basically the best we have. Uh, I'll also show you the knowledge of creating the fighting claws for yourself. And you're now an honorary member of the Imperial Guard. Why the fuck not? You've completed the Death Plateau quest. You're awarded one quest point, 3,000 attack XP, steel claws, ability to make claws. Quest point's 31. Well, 41 attack. How about that? And in our pimpin' purple and black drip, we are going to say adieu once again, my friends. I'm going to try to record a few more videos tonight since I'm really feeling it. I got some nootropic stuff enhancing my brain. I feel like a cyborg. Uh, I got the 2023 brain enhancement coursing, which is excellent, by the way. I recommend it. Anyone who's ever told you, don't do nicotine, it's bad for you. Um, just don't, don't, you know, inhale the tar and smoke. Just find a way to get it into you without doing that. Stimulants in general are great. Uh, they're better than depressants, let me tell you that. Way better. Anyway, uh, with that wonderful health tip, we are going to end the episode. Peace out.